Hey everyone, welcome back to XFix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that really annoying scroll bar on your HTML embeds. Now, what I will say about this is some of these techniques may work, but sometimes they don't. You know, if you have two embeds on your website from two different companies, maybe these tips will work for one of your embeds and then maybe for the other embed, none of these tips will work. So if you do run into that issue where none of these tips are working for your embed, then I would try reaching out to that company where you got your embed code and seeing what they would probably recommend. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So for today's video, we are actually using one of the animated icons from Lord Icon. If you're not familiar with Lord Icon, it's basically a library of tons of really cool animated icons that you can put on your website and you can just embed them. You can even download the GIF or Lottie animations or different other export options and they're pretty customizable and pretty awesome. But for today's video, I used this one right here. I grabbed the HTML code. I just copied the HTML code. Then I came to my embed element and I just pasted in this code and pressed update. But when I go ahead and press preview and I try to scroll down the website, there's this annoying little scroll bar on the HTML embed and it's not scrolling down the website how I initially wanted. So how can we fix this? Well, there are a couple different methods. The first one being is we could just make this embed a little bit bigger and then as I scroll to the website, you'll notice we no longer have that. However, in this case, it may not be perfect for you because you might have your embed sizing exactly how you want it, or maybe it's in a container that fits perfectly, so you don't really want to mess with the size or make it a little bit bigger. So if I go ahead and undo the size, another thing that we can do is go back into the code. And typically with code, like HTML code, you might have a thing called style. So if we come in here, we can set the width from 250 pixels to 100%. Then we can actually create something called overflow and we can set this to hidden. And basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna remove the pixel based height and just make it 100%. So it's not gonna be any bigger than this little iframe. It's just gonna take up 100% of it. And just in case that there is a little bit extra hanging off the end of it, you set overflow to hide it. So that way it removes the scroll. So if I go ahead and update the code and press preview, now you'll notice that we no longer have that scroll, which is fantastic. Now, like I said before, not all HTML embeds have this style tag. So if you don't see it for yours, you can try to find a place to insert a style tag like this. But again, if you don't have it, then you might have to reach out to that company to see what they recommend to fix it. And the last technique I will show you for potentially fixing this is in a previous video, I actually showed you how to create this really cool header. So if you want to as well, there will be a link in the description, but someone mentioned that there is this scroll bar on the header. You can kind of see it over here and that's because we use an embed here and you typically don't want a scroll bar in your header. So for some methods, one way we can fix this is we can say edit code. And yes, we do have style tag here, so we could add that here as well. But in some cases, all we have to do is at the very top, we just have to add this doc type HTML code and press update. And as soon as we press preview and we show this header again, we are no longer going to see that scroll bar in the header, which is exactly what we wanted. So that is three different techniques that I have personally used to remove that annoying little scroll bar on your HTML iframes. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.